All right then gang, so now we've done our small laptop styles and it's looking pretty good at this kind of width right here. And the next media query we need to address is for large tablets and maybe some small laptops as well. And that is at about 960 pixels. So if I just make this around 960 or thereabouts, we can already see we get a jump in the font size because before we declared that the font size right here of the body should be 18 pixels instead of 16. And because we're using M's, the rest of the elements kind of update based on that, right? So we've already done that, but now I want to do a few more things as well. And we're going to start up here in the nav because we want the UL over here, which is going to list the different sections, the little nav bar itself, if you like, to show. We're currently hiding that, but I want it to show. But first of all, I also want to make some changes to the grid class as well, because right now we have the grid class up here. And we don't set a maximum width of this. So the width is always going to be the full width of the page. Now, what I'd like to do now is set a maximum width of that grid so that when we get to larger sizes up here, it's not going to be the full width of the page. It's going to be 100% width up to a certain point. But when it reaches a certain point, then I want to make it so that it's only maybe 1000 or 1200 pixels wide. So let me come down here and do that first of all underneath the body selector i'm going to say grid and then i'm going to say this is always going to have a width of 100 percent up to a certain point but its maximum width is going to be around 1060 pixels right so it's going to be 100 percent in width up until this point and then it never gets any wider than that so if we go to this point we should see now look the grid doesn't get any wider and now this is where the grid goes up to right here now we don't want this because now it's all sitting on the left hand side and we want it to be centralized so in order to do that all we have to do is say that the margin of this grid should be zero top and bottom but then auto left and right and then whatever space is left in the page after this width of the grid is equally distributed to the left of it and the right of it meaning that the grid itself is going to sit in the center of the page so if i save that now now it's looking much better okay so that was the quick change i wanted to do for the grid first of all so let's go back down to around about 980 pixels or something like that just over this minimum width okay so after that now what i'd like to do is take this leading text right here and just make that have a little bit more margin so let me say dot leading and i'm going to say the margin will be 20 pixels top and bottom zero left and right and that just gives it a bit more breathing room okay then so back to this site nav so first of all notice that this right here is right up against the edge of the screen so i want to give that some kind of padding away from the edge of the screen first of all let me do that so site hyphen nav and that is going to have a padding of around about zero top and bottom 20 pixels left and right and it should shove it away from the side of the screen awesome that's better now what i'd like to do is not make this h1 so wide because this big border at the bottom is going over a lot of different columns now if we go back up to the very start where we defined that site nav h1 we said grid column is going to be one to four i'm just going to copy this and i'm going to make it go from one to three instead so it's not quite as wide so let me paste this down here and delete all the rest we don't need that we just want the grid column and that is now going to go from one to three and if i save that now it's not quite as wide it looks a bit nicer okay so i mentioned that we wanted to show the ul over here remember in the index we have a few links in the nav as well. So up here we have this UL and three links right here. Now currently they are being hidden. We set the display to none up here at the top if I just find that. Site nav UL display none. I'm going to grab that and change that so it shows because we do want to see that right here at this kind of width. So display now is now not going to be none. I'm going to display this not to block because if we do that then they're all going to sit on top of each other but instead display flex and that means they're all going to sit next to each other instead and that's how i want them displayed not over here though over here so now let's give these a grid column because they're still sitting inside the grid much like this h1 is so we'll say grid hyphen column is going to go from six to nine so right over here nine is the last 
grid line. So if I save that now, it goes all the way over here. Cool. Now, what I'd like to do, because they're all left aligned inside this column width, I'd like to align it all the way over there, first of all. So to do that, I can say justify content. And that is going to be flex end. Save that and it goes all the way over there. And now also what I want to do is say align self. And that is going to be center. And that brings it down into the middle over here. Now, at the minute, we do have a problem because we can see that these links are shoved off the page and we can't fully see contact. Now, why is that? Because we said that the grid should be a width of 100%, so it shouldn't go off the screen, but it's also because we're giving the site nav a padding of 20 pixels left and right. And if we go to the index, we can see that the grid is the site nav. So we have a width of 100% plus padding of 20 pixels left and right and that padding is basically shoving all of this right side off the page now we can combat that by going to the grid and saying okay well the box sizing of this is going to be border hyphen box and that means that everything up until the border so including the padding inside is taken into account when the width is set to 100 percent so now it won't be a width of 100 percent plus 20 pixels of padding left and right that 20 pixels of padding left and right for the site nav will automatically be taken into account. So let me save this now, and now we can see that is looking a bit better. So the last thing to do up here is to just give each li tag a bit of margin. So I'm going to say site hyphen nav and then li, and I'm going to say that these should have a margin hyphen left of about 20 pixels. So let me save that, and that is looking a lot better. Now let me just test these. So if I click on portfolio, it goes down to here because remember we had this little thing right here, hash portfolio. And what that does is look for any ID in the document with portfolio and it takes us to that. So a little bit of in-page linking right here, skills goes down to skills and we have contact which takes us to the contact form at the bottom. All right then. So there's one more thing I want to do in this video and that's address this kind of welcome section because again we have a lot of space over here. So what I'm going to do is now say welcome hyphen text and this is going to be grid hyphen column. Let me just see what we had last time in fact. So if we go up to the last media query we said the grid column is one to five. To be honest, I don't think we need to change that because the width looks okay. Instead, what I'm gonna do is not change the grid column. I'm gonna say align self, and I'm gonna say center. And what align self does is it looks at this stuff and vertically aligns it in the middle of this particular row. So it's gonna come down here a little bit. So I'm gonna save that. And that looks a little bit better. We don't have as much space at the bottom. It's kind of equally distributed now. Now, what I also want to do is add a little bit more padding at the bottom of the whole section because this goes right up to the edge and I think it looks a little bit squashed. So let me now say welcome. And I'm going to say padding bottom is around about 40 pixels, just a little bit more than it currently is. And that gives it a tiny bit more room. Okay, so I think all of this top bit now is looking okay for this kind of size. So in the next video, what we'll do is we'll move on to the rest of the website and we'll address that for this kind of width.